Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Rick Shaves. So I uh, wanted to try out some of these like kind of budget friendly uh, equipment or uh, shave soaps. And today, for today's shave, I have Colonel Conk's shave soap. This is the almond scent. It has that great almond, classic almond scent or uh, marzipan kind of scent to it. Now, I have used this soap in the past, and uh, I, if I remember correctly, it performs pretty well. I, I, I mean, it's it is a uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a kind of lower budget soap. I think you can find it for about five or six dollars, maybe or maybe closer to seven dollars online uh, at Amazon or something. And this one they actually sold in a four pack, which I don't have any of the other ones. Uh, uh, they had an amber, a lime, uh, almond, and uh, something else maybe, I think. Or maybe it was just three of them I bought. I, I can't remember. It's been so long. The soap is probably over five years old. So uh, it goes to show you that it still has a great scent even at five years later. And uh, as long as you let it dry out and stuff like that, it should be fine. Oh, almost dropped it. Okay. For the rest of the shave, it's going to be pretty kind of standard stuff that you can find online. Mercur 34C. Great starter razor, in my opinion. Uh, most wet shavers own, own this razor because it is a very uh, good mild shaving razor. It could be used as a as a great daily shaver if you have to shave every day or want to shave every day. Uh, this is definitely a good one for it. The uh, Yaki synthetic brush. You know I love my synthetics. <laughs> uh, this one you can buy on their site or something like that. I'll go ahead and link uh, all these when I get a chance. And then the aftershave is this uh, Tequila Tease. This is a great scented soap. It's a Clubman uh, special or a reserve. And uh, it's, it's supposed to have some of those notes of that tequila and stuff like that. So it says here, a crisp lime and lemon scent with germanium, vanilla, musk, and bittersweet almond notes. So there it has some almond in there <laughs> as well. So I think it fits really good with the... Uh, with the soap at hand. Uh, now this is a shave puck. It's a very hard soap. It's a very hard soap. So it's not cream or a, or a croak, which is in between a hard soap and a cream. This is an actual soap. It's a hard puck. Okay. <clears throat> let me go ahead and wet my brush, get that ready. But more importantly, let me wet my face. I already did my pre-shave routine, taking a shower, getting so fresh and so clean. All right, going to get into this. I hope you guys are all doing really good out there. Uh, staying safe, staying healthy. Grab my towel here, because I'm going to need this. Okay, shave brush. Love about synthetics, you just got to get them wet. Just dip them in the water and they're ready to go. Now I'm just going to lather from here, which shouldn't uh, take very long. Just little circles around till we build a... A good lather in the brush, enough where I can do a face lather. Look at that. It's already... It's already, uh, looks like it's going to be a nice, thick, luscious lather. Now, I do believe that these are uh, tallow-based. So, meaning that they have some animal fat in them. Let me see. I'm, I could be wrong. Let me see if it says it, if it is or not. <clears throat> nope. Doesn't say. Uh, contains avocado oil, vitamin E. Um, 
I don't know if it has uh, tallow in it. I'll have to look it up. All I know is that it smells really good. I mean, this thing's like maybe six or seven years old. Which goes to show you that it can last if you take care of it. I'm getting a nice thick lather. So that's, I do remember that part of it. Get a little more water in here. If I remember, again, this was a thirsty soap, man. I need to add a little more water to it to uh, get it to the consistency I like. good nice thick lather I mean, it looks like an ice cream cone nope. <laughs> no I'm sure it doesn't taste like one either <laughs> you know one day uh, I probably said it before but I am probably going to accidentally lick that the you know putting it too close to my face and that'll be my fault because I like to play around. Okay. Clear those little pathways there. I know where I'm going to start. Okay, wet the razor. Let's go ahead and get into the shave. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but you know, I, I do uh, puff out my cheek. I put air in my the side of my cheek here. That allows the razor to have enough more surface area to go over. I can do it like this, but it could miss or it could, you know, be too soft. So a little tension on there so it it can slide over a lot easier. Now, so far. Pretty good, uh, pretty good protection. The cushions there from this nice thick lather. The slickness is, it's pretty good. I could probably go back over this uh, without reapplying soap, which is normally what I do if the soap is has enough slickness where I can just wet it and then go back over it. I do that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I try. You know, for work, it takes care of it. Okay. <laughs> Got that side done. Feels pretty good. Uh, good slickness there uh, with the soap and everything. Doesn't feel like it's drying my skin out or anything like that. So nice hydration.
Okay. Let's get this last little bit here. Chin. Just gonna go down on it for now. All right. That's number one. Pass number one. Let's go ahead and try and get this going again. I need to trim up my mustache. This side here. It's a little too long. Probably can tell. It's like... <laughs> so I'll trim that up here in a little bit. Alright. Pass number two. Let's just... Put it on. Still, the lather's still pretty good. It's worked out really good. So, like I said, soap is only probably, you know, six, seven dollars, somewhere in that range, from five to seven dollars. And then you can get like a, uh, I know they sell it in a pack on Amazon. They sell several, uh, several different scents, not just the almond. Um, I know I got one that had lime. Uh, Amber, almond, and bay rum. That was that was the four pack I bought, and I think it's I don't know, fifteen twenty dollars somewhere. In there. Don't quote me on it, guys. I'll put a link for everything in the description if I find it. And do a cross shave just in. Okay, go up on the neck. Gotta get that goigle. <laughs> The double chin. Oh, sorry, wrong way. That's why I stopped. I had to think about. It. Get that hydration going. Get that chin nice and smooth. Yep. So part of shaving, guys, is mapping your face. Knowing which way your hair grows. See, my hair grows all different directions on the neck. Here, down, here, down, down. You know, so it's it's all simple for me on my 
cheeks and chin and all that, I know which way the hair grows. Here, it like grows here, it grows like in a star pattern kind of all around. Uh, here, I think it grows this way. Here, it grows like kind of up and this way, you know, I mean, so <laughs> it, it, it just is how it is. So, all right, let's go ahead and rinse this off. Feels good. Um, skin does not feel dried out or anything like that. So that's a good thing. Nice and hydrated. Yeah, I feel like I got a really good shave. Okay, see for yourself. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, feels really good. Now, because it's bothering me. This isn't uh, instructional on how to trim your mustache. I'm probably screwing it up. I just have to uh, make sure it's kind of level. See here, the problem is, see that bald spot? That's alopecia. So the hair doesn't grow as thick on this side as it does this side. So if it looks like, oh, well, it's thinner over here than it is here, that's, that's why. It's, we work with what we got, <laughs> you know? And, uh, so this side, I got to constantly kind of trim up, kind of trim behind, you know, thin it out a little bit so it doesn't look as off. You know, just try to try to make it look as even as I can, you know, but most of the time, unless you're really, really paying attention to it or whatever, you, you won't really notice it. So, okay. Ah, feels good. Feels good. Nice and smooth, too. I haven't even put aftershave on or anything like that, you know. But we are some of this Clubman Tequila Teas. Oh, yeah. It kind of has a little bit of a coconut smell to it, too. Nice. Nice, like, that tequila, coconut, kind of pina colada, kind of, you know. This guy, I know fall is more or less around the corner but you know i live in texas it's still like 95 outside today <laughs> okay oh, that feels good There you go. Nice. Oh man, that, God, I love the smell of this. Uh, these these reserve ones, they, they sell a few different scents and they're all great. Uh, this one, I think, I think this one's my favorite. It just has that, it just has some really good smell to it. Oh man, so, so great, kind of that, like that sweet kind of, you know, not overly sweet, but like I said, lemon and lime scent with germanium, vanilla. I can definitely smell some of the vanilla, musk, and bittersweet almond notes. So it, it kind of smells like, like that, like coconut, but I'm thinking it's the almond and the, uh, probably the floral and vanilla notes. So that kind of make it smell that way, like that sweet, Kind of smell, smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and recap. 
Colonel Conks Shave Soap. Uh, excellent. Very inexpensive. Performed exactly how I needed it to. Great cushion, great lather build, uh, great slickness. It does say it has avocado oil in there. I don't know if it has tallow, meaning it has animal fat. I'll look at I'll look it up, see if it does or not, see if it's uh, you know, vegan friendly or whatever. Um, some people want that, they don't want to use uh animal products in their side, and that's fine. Uh some of those are actually really good performing soap, so I, I can't really uh knock the whole vegan thing on that one. Um, but it's the almond scent. This this one here has a great scent to it, even after all these years. And uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it open, uh, the, the little flap open, let it dry out for, you know, about 24 hours, and I'll put it away. I'll be done with it. All right. Razor, the uh, Mercur 34C, excellent. I got a great, great shave with this. Oh, my skin feels so smooth and soft right now. Oh, excellent shave today. Okay, the uh, Yaki Synthetic Brush. Very beautiful uh, handle on there. Uh, any synthetic will work, essentially. You know, just find one that you like, and or any brush, even if it's a boar hair or badger hair, you could definitely use it that way. And then, this right here tequila sun tequila teas i almost said tequila sunrise i thought i was thinking about the eagles uh song <laughs> but uh uh um tequila tequila teas clubman uh probably my favorite scent in this i don't know why i just i love that scent oh, it's so good okay guys well that's gonna do it for me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Give it a big old thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.